Hey guys, Neptune here, and I'm back with a new series. Today we're studying builds, yes, character builds. And the reason we're doing that is to compare those, and to see which ones are good and which ones are bad. This is pretty much what we'll be doing for the rest of the August on Mondays, comparing the builds. Today we compared two builds, both of them are relying on weapon buff. Both builds are tailored to SL120 and account for you wanting 40 vigor and 40 endurance. First build is a pure quality, just a straight 40-40 with a level fate and one attunement slot for the buff itself. Second build has 60 fate for buff and just the minimal amount of stats to wield necessary weapons. Now the first build will be using blast weapon that scales with the AR of the weapon you're buffing. Second build however will use lightning blade that scales with the spell adjustment of the talisman or chime you're casting it with. I'm using 4 categories, 4 weapons that represent 4 different classes. Estoc, Karthus Kurtzori, Lucerne and Astor Greatsword are the 4 weapons that I'm using to compare the damage output of those 2 builds. As far as infusions go, for both builds, surprisingly, refine is the way to go, since even with the base decks and strength it nets more AR than any other non-elemental infusion in the game. With all that being said, let's get to the testing. Alright, it's time to compare the results, and it's kind of very obvious that Pure Fate build just sucks. It loses to quality build with blast weapons in 3 out of 4 tests, winning by 3% only when you're using a weapon that has AR lower than 400, which is a shame. And since we're comparing the builds, it is kind of obvious that 4040 allows you to use way more tools since you are not limited to 16 strength and 18 dex like you are on the fate build. As you can see, there are actually two columns that describe the difference. First one being the buff damage difference. Second one, however, is just a pure quality hit without any buffs compared to the fate build with lightning blade. 
and it's not pretty, really, really not pretty. It wins only in two cases. So basically, by going for a pure fate build, you are not only limiting your damage output to 60 seconds per duel, you're also not dealing as much damage as non-buffed character will do using quality build with some of the weapons. Good job, FromSoft. Just good job. But this is not the end. This isn't. I've got something very special for you. As you can see, bundles are literally the best. Not only they require no investment whatsoever, they actually perform on par with Blessed Weapon, staying within 3% of its performance. And then they outperform the Pure Fate build by more than 5% in 3 out of 4 cases. Now for the sake of this whole test being a fair simulation, a friend of mine is using a very average set of armor with absorption rate at 19%. To conclude this video, I'd like to say that if you're going for a pure quality, get 40 Vigor, 40 Endurance, and just use a bunch of presents and bundles, you'll be good. If you really want to buff, just get a blessed weapon and be ready to swap rings, you'll be good as well. However, if you're going for a pure fate build after all of this, I feel sorry for you. And if you think you're a unique sunflower that goes to sacrifice, Vigor or Endurance in favor of main stat to use your precious fate buff, well, then your enemies will feel sorry for you when you will die in 3 hits because you have wasted all of your stamina trying to chase someone until your buff runs out. But hey, at least we know for sure now. So whenever you see an invader using an expensive fate buff, have a laugh and blame FromSoft. Thank you for watching.